Hello our most valid student, my name is Confident, welcome to our revision session of grade 11 and 12 as well as um, this is also suitable for, grade, for N3 and N4 and in this section this is a 24 minute lesson except and I'm bringing you um, an exponent problem as the YouTube topic says I couldn't use a calculator to solve this. But now, how do you go about solving this? Now, if I use my calculator there to just to show you what I mean. So we have um, in this case, five to the exponent 2007 plus five to the exponent 2010. And then we have got 5 to the exponent 2008 plus 5 to the exponent 2009. So this is what I'm given uh, here and I want to evaluate with the calculator and you can see that it is giving me an error. So which means the memory of the calculator is limited to give a solution of this. Now how will you solve this in an exam? So to solve that, so as I have it here, so first things first is, let me show you what I'm using here. I'm using this law, which says, uh, the law of exponents, the first law of exponents says a to the power of x times a to the power of y. Now, if the bases are the same, the law of exponents says you add the exponent, so which is a to the power x plus y so this is the first law of exponents now in this law what i want to do i want to write this law going this direction in this case so that i'm going to start with a to the power x plus y as i said i'm reading it from right to left now this is equal to a to the power of x times a to the power of y remember whenever you are using the laws of exponents you can read it from left to right as well as from right to left so it can go this direction it can go the opposite direction so but in this case i want to use the second version of the law such that for example if i'm given uh, 5 to the power 2007 um, I'm able to write it actually let me use 5 to the power 2008 I'm able to write it as 5 to the power 2007 plus 1 so this is 5 to the power remember what is 2007 plus 1 this is 2008 all right so this then I can say this is same as 5 to the power 2007 times 5 to the power 2000 I mean 5 to the power of 1 so you see I'm using this law in here so the plus part is this part so x in this case is like that so this is like my x plus my y so you see, but I'm writing it in terms of 2008. So this is what I'm trying to say I will use when I'm solving that. So first things first, what you need to do is look at the powers and you're going to see that 2007 is the smallest power. So we're going to express everything in terms of the smallest power, which is 2007. So what I have is... 5 to the power 2007 plus 5 to the power 2007 now to get 2010 is plus 3 that will give me that over 5 to the power 2008 we've already done it which is 2007 plus 1 plus 5 to the power 2000 and seven to get 2009 I must add 2 to 2007 so this is what I've done now using the concept of the first law where 
it's x plus y then i split it into its components of x and y as as exponents so i'll have 5 to the power 2007 plus 5 to the power 2007 times 5 to the power of 3 so that is where the whole trick was over 5 to the power 2007 times 5 to the power 1 plus 5 to the power 2007 uh, times 5 to the power of 2 so you see how this was going then because you've done that you are now at a point whereby you can see that you have expressed everything in terms of 5 to the power 2007 5 to the power 2007 you can factorize that one out even at the bottom you can factorize the 5 to the power 2007 so what you do is you take out 5 to the power 2007 at the top and you'll be having 5 to the power 2007 into 5 to the power 2007 you've got 1 plus um, into the second one it's 5 to the power of 3 so you are you are just removing the 2007 there over and then at the bottom you do the same thing you've got 5 to the power 2007 and in that case you have got 5 to the power of 1 plus 5 to the power of 2 so this is what you are having and at this stage look you can now cancel out that part so this is actually what they wanted to check there and then you've got 1 plus 5 to the power of 3 is 125 over 5 to the power 1 plus 5 to the power of 2 which is 5 plus 25 and in this case it will be 126 over 30 and then I think if you divide by 2 in this case you are going to have um, 63 over 15 you see you could actually use uh, that without a calculator or you can just quickly use your calculator here where it says uh, 1 plus 5 cubed over 5 plus 5 squared that is the most you could uh, do which says 21 over 5 which means this could go further divide by 3 which is 2 1 15 divided by 3 is 5 so you can see the calculator goes further to the simplest form so that is how you approach this kind of a problem as i have given but now let me show you the second i i, I found another example again which was similar it says simplify as you can see the question there it says simplify the following and it's three marks and as i said the aim is to use the first law and when you're using the first law remember you don't want the law you want the law to make things easier for you as i said the law that i'm using is a to the power of x plus y this is equal to a to the power of x you split it and then you say times because if you're adding the exponents you multiply so times a to the power of y so this is the law I'm, I'm using here so if i simplify at this stage from here and then i say it, you identify um the smallest exponent and then you're going to use that so you can see that this is 2015 the exponent here is 2015 this is 2013 this is 1006 so this looks smaller but unfortunately the bases are different so what we need to do is to make the bases the same before we can do anything now look at this one i have here 9 to the power 1006 now what you need to do first is to change 9 in terms of 3 remember 9 is 3 squared so you have got 3 squared in bracket 1006 now this is the same as that bracket means those exponents are multiplying which is 3 to the power of 2 times 1006 and if you simplify that which is um, 3 to the power this is 
1006 times 2 actually this is more than that this is 1006 times 2 which is 2012 so this is 2012 that's the right way to actually pronounce it not 2012 as in a year so this is what we are having so instead of um this part of nine being that which means we're going to have here being three to the power of 2012 so now you can see that everything is in terms of three of three and of three so that's what we're going to be using there so if we now simplify this we're going to have three to the exponent 2015 first plus three to the exponent 2013 over now instead of um that part you are writing now three to the exponent two and then we are having a one oh oh six just for the sake of the working in this case so when you do that which is equal to three to the power of 2015 remember the calculator cannot solve this because these are big numbers 2013 the first one is 2015 over 3 to the power of 2012 so actually the bottom one is still the smallest 2012 is the smallest of all uh, the exponents there you can see that 2012 is the smallest so you are going to write everything in terms of uh, 2012 so this is equal to just to make it clear to you so this is what you are actually saying this is equal to um, in this case 3 to the power 2012 say that so everything is to, now must be in terms of 2012 but to get to 2015 we add 3 plus 3 to the power of 2012 plus 1 over 3 to the power of uh, 2012 uh, in this case all right so when you do that can continue here so this is equal to so what we have now is to split it and when we're splitting it we are going to have 3 to the power of 2012 and then you have times 3 to the power of 3 and then is plus again is 3 to the power of 2012 and then we have times and then it's 3 to the power of 1 all over and we also have at the bottom 3 to the power of 2012 that's what I'm trying to show you whenever I'm factorizing that's what I mean because of the plus sign here that's where I say we factorize all right so when you factorize you have got 3 to the power of 2012 that you are taking out and when you do that you can see that you are remaining with 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 1 over and then you have at the bottom 3 to the power of 2012 so you see that's what we are having here which is equal to now you can cross that one out which is 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 now 3 to the power of 3 3 times 3 times 3 which is 27 plus 3 which is equal to uh, 30 in this case remember the calculator you can use it now at this stage it says 3 to the power of 3 uh, plus 3 then to give you that 30 just to verify that so this is how you can solve or simplify exponents in the version that we are given whereby even your calculator cannot give you the answer but you have to use the first law and reading it backwards and learning how to split it and also expressing everything in terms of the smallest power i hope this was of benefit to you thank you